Hello Simmers, tonight we are here for the first look at LVFR's Airbus A340, one of the few airliners with four engines. I want to start this video by telling you that if you've been following the channel and watched the previous video, like me, you won't be surprised by what you are going to see next, unfortunately. I wanted to comment the video while I was recording it, but unfortunately the microphone wasn't working properly and you can barely hear my voice. So instead I'm going to give you a brief summary of this first impression. Let's start with the fact that the add-on costs almost 30 euros or 30 dollars and surprisingly it only weights a very light 1 gigabytes to download which left me a bit perplexed for a large airliner. The Tornado or even the F-86 of uh, Shrike weight more than twice as much. But I'm not sure it's really relevant, but move, let's move on. There are a lot of liveries, about 30-ish. And uh, for this first look, I choose to start at uh, Los Angeles Airport. From the outside, the plane doesn't impress with average textures. The cockpit windows aren't well detailed and the overall first impression isn't great to be honest. There is still the same texture clipping on the windows and that's very annoying because it's the same on the A330. Once inside the cockpit, things improve a bit with a decent layout. Very few animations as usual. The system seems to be complete but I noticed a very strange behavior of the autopilot during the climb phase, as you can see here. So I don't know if I misconfigured the plane or not, but I did it as usual and this is really weird. Unfortunately, the 3D modeling of the cabin is terrible. The objects are not in their place. We still have um, gaps in the middle of the doors. I'm sorry, but for me, this is unacceptable. We are at the end of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, come on. The tablet takes the positive and negative points of what we already know from LVFR previous production, except this time you can add a washout effect on the screen, I don't know why, it remains very pale and I couldn't find how to adjust the brightness of the screen, it, it, it's a bit annoying. In terms of feeling, I wasn't shocked for a first impression, everything is, um, everything is how you expect it to be. You can see that the wings move well, the wind flex is well rendered, thankfully because of the size of the wings. So, honestly, I found the plane mediocre so far, regardless of its price. This first impression in the cockpit of the A340 didn't impress me, nothing impressive, really. Just LVFR as usual. So if you liked their previous add-ons, I think you will like this one, although we will have to really check the autopilot behavior on the full flight. If you didn't like LVFR's previous aircraft, I don't see what could change your mind with this one. I will leave you with the rest of the video if you want to see more details of the plane and I will see you soon on the channel. Bye bye.
same way. 